Hello guys, in this video I will show you exactly how a trailing stop works, a highly requested feature and I will show you in this video exactly everything you need to know about using a trailing stop for long and short positions. If you want to create an account on Bybit you can simply go down to the video description, click on the link and you will get to exactly this page right here and you can get the best sign up bonus possible which is up to $30,000 of sign up bonus. As you can see down here you can see how much you have to deposit and how much you have to trade and what bonus you will get. Of course, the more you deposit and the more you trade, the higher of a bonus you can get. To claim your bonus, you simply have to use the link down from the video description. You can see down here, then you can just enter your email, set a password, create an account, and then you're ready to go. All right, so let's jump right into it. I wanna dive directly into how we can use the trading stop. If you need more tutorials on how to deposit, how to create an account, and how to generally trade and use Bybit, I have all of these videos linked on my channel, so you can check them out. But now in this video, I wanna dive right into how a trading stop works. So first of all, of course, we need to a position. First, I wanna show you how it works for a long position. I'm just gonna open a quick long position right here, type in an amount, open long, confirm, and then we are in a long position right now. We can see all the information down here. Um, I don't have any take profit or stop loss set yet. Um, I wanna so show you directly only how a trailing stop works. So let's put this right here and open a trailing stop. Let's click on add. And now we have to enter a retracement amount. That means right here we are typing in USDT an amount of which a distance will be set. We could also set by rate, for example, 10%. But in this case, I'm gonna show you how it works with USDT. So I'm gonna type in an amount, for example, $500 click on confirm and now I have this trading stop down here which is exactly $500 below the current price as you can see right here. And now to show you the difference I also want to add a normal stop loss. I'm just going to click here on add. I'm going to put a stop loss let's say at 10% click on confirm and now I have here my normal stop loss. So what's the difference? Let's say the price moves up first to here and then drops down overnight. What will happen if I have my normal stop losses, the price moves up, nothing happens, the price goes down and I will be stopped out here and I will take the loss from here. So what will happen instead if I have a stop, um, a trailing stop, the price moves up to here overnight and the trailing stop won't stay here but it will remain the distance of $500 that I've set down here. So what will happen, my trailing stop will actually move up with the price up to here and remain always the distance of $500 between the current price and my trading stop. And what will happen if the price goes down actually, it will stay at the same price. And what will happen is we will be stopped out right here and we will actually make a profit right here because it has moved up and we are higher than we entered the position right here. So we'll actually make some profit instead of if we wouldn't have this uh, trading stop that would have moved up it would have just hit our stop loss down here and we would have made a loss. So that's the big difference and that's how it works. So I can cancel my normal stop loss right here and I can just leave my trading stop. It's very useful, for, um, especially if you are leaving trades open when you cannot monitor the trade. For example, if at night, if you're going to sleep, you can leave the trading stop and you will make sure that it will always leave a maximum of $500 between the current price and um, your own and it will only move up if the price goes up but if it goes down of course it won't also go down it won't do that it will just stay at the price and you will be stopped out right here so that's pretty useful so that's pretty much all there is to say you can leave it here you can change the distance if you want to keep it closer for example you could type in $200 confirm and then it will be here and it will remain always the distance of $200 um, and if you want to cancel it, you can just click on the X and then you can cancel it. I also want to show you how it works for a short position. So let's close my position right here and I'm going to open a short position right now. And now, of course, the um, trading stop will be um, above the price. Let's say I'm going to add a trading stop, $500. Now my trading stop is here. And if the price actually now moves down, my trading stop will follow go here and if the price goes up again, it will stay at the price and we will be stopped out here. So that's the feature, very useful and I'm glad it's here on Bybit. Don't forget to create an account on Bybit by using the link down from the video description to get the best sign up bonus possible. As always, if you have any other questions, feel free to ask them in the comments.